Street, my brother Wine family repping him like me. Deep St. Louis, 18th, 22nd, Dixdale. Rick got the sticker dropping Luba, man, and shit spread. One tray, USA, better known as Clark Kim. Niggas out there written, got them chickens through a cartwheel. Southside skinny, man, they call them when the kicks come. Gotta shout out Shabby, cause that's where my brother Rich from. Jefferson, Magazine, 26th, Leader Street, 4100 block, Trey Flow, CNG, River Park, Cali Park, both sides of Madison. Three two zone, yes, sit down, my nigga capping them. Valley, do me, nigga, really can't imagine this. Some heavyweights of Portland niggas really got the traffic. Detroit rapping, Martha D. Ted, do the dance again. They never heard a look, but I'ma let them know what's happening. Street College Court, built it from the ground up. I know it took a lot of heart. Used to post up with my brother Fire out in Earth Court. Shout out my nigga Soldier, that did it. That's a clear trust. Red rapping down block three phases. Village West, step a foot in beach. A nigga better have some real respect. Posse's on Broadway, but she don't want to deal with that. Victory some savages, you know it's worth killing that. Seven Park, Dollar Park, Smoke Town, Shepherd Square. Exclusives round the corner, have them on you when you're stepping up. Can't forget Jackson Wolfers, RP, the Big Bang, Baby Dread. Chill up too early, man, it's just crazy. For a hill, all over, you a bell land that. Pull up at the young center, spray your skin, play in that. Meet me at the Chicken King, order us a 12 flat. Tell so Wonder, hit the shuffle on to make them bring the deal back. Shout out my nigga don't man, I wish he would've stayed the plug Go and ask my cousin Green Bean if I made it up AK and Sam, my jewelers always show a play Let's take it back downtown Share me a chicken song, Sunday pull the whips out Show them how we living, dog. Hang job with Kia Blow, rim game three below My niggas A, Dean and Mo, time to do the speakers though Some niggas like to come through in lines of them pretty drops Some niggas put them for us down, show them what they really got Some niggas wanna play the street like gangsters when they really not Turn on A and D and let the whole city work. Some niggas go to KFC. I grab a big mama plate. Seafood, let it round the way. In this king, you gotta taste. Legends live a close place. This where we spend the congregate. Tell Jerry, play the shit. Show them how the city operates. Shout out to my man, Corey Black. Tyrant Louisville. That's the name of the track. You see, you can't go down to somebody's city if you don't go down to the streets and get with the street folks and find out what's really good. Big shout out to the 502. That's right. I'm talking to Louisville. I know y'all got y'all minds other places, but my mind ain't but one place right now. That's Louisville, Kentucky. That's right. I am the Grandmaster J founder and the leader of the Not Fucking Around Coalition. I want to let you all know tonight that even though I wasn't going to come back, you know, if I had to come back, it's because something done happened that demanded that I step back into the spotlight and talk to all the people, especially my folks in the 502, my folks in Louisville, my folks. That I'm going to see real soon. Let me go ahead and jump right into it. All praises be to the most high. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. If you are one of the elect, the chosen, or the righteous, then you already know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you better ask somebody. You see, tonight, I only came here for three reasons to deal with three things. And then I'm going to raise up and leave y'all to your own devices. Fo, 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 I see you. 
If you are a person who's been curious, then you might want to get the questions answered right here. Grandmaster J in your ear hole. Just for a little bit, I'm not going to be with y'all tonight. You know Louisville is on my mind because y'all say it with me. Turn to your neighbor and say, all eyes on Bree. You know you wanted to say it. Go on, let's do it one more time for the people in the back. All eyes on Bree. Brianna Taylor, that's right. That's where the focus is. That's the side of the biscuit you need to butter to get the flavor. That you're going to save tonight. Oh, we on fire up in here. Okay, so let me go ahead and jump right into it because I had to come for y'all and I need to address some issues. I'm on two platforms right now. I'm on YouTube and I'm also sitting right here on Instagram. So uh, I need you to pay attention. I need you to spread the word. That means that when you're sitting around talking to somebody about absolutely nothing, this is the time when you can actually begin to pass on some knowledge and let somebody know that I heard it right here and I got to share it right there. Mm hmm. Let me go ahead and fix the first one. The first thing I want to do is dispel a rumor uh, that is right. Not even a rumor. It was something that someone attempted to do today. And this is what I mean when you should always fact check when someone tells you something. If somebody walk up to you and say, child, I wouldn't believe that because such and such and such. And you say, well, where the proof at? And then they say, well, the proof is right here. Examine the proof. Because we live in a world where it's easy to manipulate and move things around to look a certain way that if you don't look at what's happening behind the curtain. And for y'all that's too young to understand, we get that from the Wizard of Oz when they finally got to see the wizard. After they went through all of these changes to get to the wizard, after they went up and down and across the little flowers that made them go to sleep and the trees with the apples that slapping them on the hand and the monkeys flying around, they went through all of that to finally get to the wizard. Only to find out that instead of being caught up in the show and all of the distractions and the smoke and the flames, because that was all an illusion. If you just look behind the curtain, you might find out that the truth is not what you think it is. I came tonight to respond to a rumor that has been somebody. Y'all got too much time on your hands. Y'all don't understand that the enemy is busy. They busy. Oh, they busy. You know, we hurting them right now. We putting pressure in the most sensitive places right now. We got a handful and we squeezing them right now. Y'all do know that, don't you? If you ain't caught on, then maybe you one of the people that need to get squeezed. Maybe if you ain't caught on yet, maybe you are the problem. But if you are keeping up with what's going on, this right here is an example of what I mean by having too much time. On your hand, somebody saw fit to sit down and Photoshop and created a fake press release purportedly from me uh, and the NFAC. First of all, they screwed up and they used my Instagram logo, not the official NFAC logo, which I would have used. And then on top of that, they then said the following. They said, now y'all hold on. I need everybody to put the seatbelt on. Here come the, 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 the father of all lies said that, uh, unfortunately. The Grandmaster J and the NFAC, uh, some of us were diagnosed with COVID-19. We have fallen prey to COVID-19. Even though y'all sit here every night and watch me suck down bottle after bottle of 9.5 alkaline water, after I make this announcement, I'm going to talk a little bit about the food groups and what you should be eating inside of each one so that you too can be resistant and resilient to any of these diseases. Somebody put together a news article, a news release, and sent it to the papers and said that me and the crew had come down with COVID-19 and been because of that, we would not be coming to Louisville, Kentucky. Hold up. Mm. However, they also said that because of that, uh, we regretted that and that we had to be quarantined for 14 days. This is what they said. Now, there were some people in the news agency that's trying to stay abreast of this rapidly developing story because the news people got their eyes open, especially on the NFAC, because the NFAC has been on the lips of a lot of people that you wouldn't think would pay anybody that, according to the people on social media,
media is supposed to be untrained. It's supposed to be agents working for the government. It's supposed to be go get you all killed. It's supposed to be a, a danger to everybody. There are, that the people got to get together. Somebody said that we wasn't coming. And somebody in the news agency that's keeping track of everything that's going on. Well, they decided that the best thing for them to do was to go ahead and report that. So they put that out. Yes, they did. They said the NFAC wasn't coming. That's what they said. They said the NFAC wasn't coming. Well, there was one news reporter who realized that that didn't make sense because I just done an interview with that particular TV station that when we talked about the fact that we were coming and what our goals were and what we intended to achieve and why it was all eyes on Bree. That's exactly what happened. Well, he retracted that story and they reached out to me only to find out that. Um, can I tell him? Can I tell him? At the time that y'all released that news story, I was in a meeting with the activist groups talking about how we're going to proceed in total. So I find it very, very interesting that someone would say uh, that we um, weren't coming. No, we're coming. Louisville, you, y'all, y'all, the whole city is coming out from what I've been told. Yes, yeah, salute Don G. From what I've been told, the whole city is coming out. The whole city is coming to South Central Park. The whole city is coming down to Churchill Downs to join us. When I say, can I bring them out? We're going to bring them out. So the NFAC will be in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we are coming because we told you that if we didn't hear anything uh, within four weeks, we gave you five, uh, that we would be back. And so we are, as they say in the hood, we're pulling up. We're going to be pulling up and we're bringing a few friends with us. And on top of that, we're also bringing out the city that is tired of waiting for someone to be put into handcuffs or someone to be charged in the death of Breonna Taylor, all eyes on Bree. So if y'all don't mind, I just want to remind you tonight, y'all make sure you come on out. If you in Louisville, please come out and show your support and let's make it almost impossible for them to have this race. You're not going to enjoy yourself and spend money and bet money and act like life is good, but not acknowledge the fact that there are some people who need your help. You're not going to pretend like this did not happen. After the city is in turmoil, the people are protesting, been out there for a hundred days. And now it's time. You think you're going to sit back and enjoy yourself? Well, if you go into the race, we go into the race, too. If y'all going to pull up with your big hats and all of that, then we're going to pull up with them big straps. So let me let me go ahead and let y'all know I'm going to say it again. So don't believe what you heard because you're hearing it from the horse's mouth. The NFAC is still coming to Louisville September the 5th down at Churchill Downs where they're holding the Kentucky Derby. Nice try. You know, first First, you're trying to make everybody look at us like we're we're terrorists. You know, that's why when you when we went to the march on Washington, there just so happens to be this statement from the president that said he saw some people on the plane. I know it's a lot of y'all who said he was talking about Antifa. No, Antifa has already been acknowledged to be a terrorist group. They've already been acknowledged. He signed the order so he knew he won't talk about them. But then right after that, Rep uh, uh, Congressman Clay Higgins goes completely off the off the meter and decides that he's going to threaten me and the NFAC. Y'all think I'm making this up? Y'all know I'm going to share the story with you. And yes, I've seen everybody from Nancy Pelosi to all the other big wigs up in D.C. have to try to figure out what they're going to say about all of this. Well, it's not what y'all going to say. It's what you're going to do. Because if one of us made those same type of statements, 
We be in handcuffs right now. We be in federal custody. We be under the custody of the marshals on our way to the U.S. Bureau, Federal Bureau of Prisons. That's where we would be. But a sitting congressman, uh, the biz, you know, there are certain publications that you know you'd have made it when you see your stuff in those publications. That means that everybody is talking about you. When you see yourself like in publications in the white world, like The Hill, if you see yourself in The Hill, that means all the congressmen and representatives, they reading about you, they talking about you, they thinking about you, they might have to do something about you. So Business Insider is another one of those. These are the, these are the publications that they read. Let me read some of it to you, if y'all don't mind. Facebook said it removed two of Clay Higgins' posts for violating the company's policies against inciting violence after the congressman suggested killing armed protesters. Notice they said protesters. Facebook removed two of Congressman Clay Higgins' posts for violating the policies uh, or policies against inciting violence after he suggested killing armed protesters if they showed up to a Louisiana protest. And I, I'm not going to go through all of the details, but what he also you want to know about this particular man that's sitting in Congress. He's an ex-cop. He resigned from the St. Landry Parish Sheriff's Office in 2016 after backlash erupted over his controversial videos for a Crime Stoppers program. He was elected to Congress the same year. Now, Facebook's removal comes as the Kenosha, Washington police shooting of Jacob Blake. They got Kenosha, Washington. It should be Wisconsin. I'm reading what these white people wrote. They must have wrote this in a hurry. They got Kenosha, Washington, but I'm going to say Wisconsin because that's where it happened. Police shooting of Jacob Blake refueled the movement of widespread demonstrations protesting police brutality across the United States. We've had people shot in the last 24 hours. It's every day now. Don't y'all see what's happening? But let me get into the meat of this and why I have a problem with this. It says Higgins initial post appeared to be directed at members of a black militia group called the NFAC, the not blank around coalition. And I can write that out according to him as he posted a photo of the group alongside his message. I saw the picture. Yes, I saw the picture. I'm in the picture. That's why it grabbed my attention. I took it personally. The group, which has protested against white supremacy and the KKK, has attended police brutality protests before. We have. That's interesting. I don't remember the NFAC uh, appearing at any police brutality protests, but that's what they said about us. With members armed with guns and wearing bulletproof vests. That part they got right. A rumor sprouted online that the group would attend a protest. Notice he said a rumor. We didn't know these people. I didn't know this man existed. But I'm reading. It says a rumor sprouted online that the group would attend a protest in Lafayette, Louisiana. NFAC did not appear because we never were supposed to be there. But about 50 members of a right wing militia group called Louisiana Cajun Militia. Don't that sound down southish? Appeared at the protest in vests, camo gear and carrying guns. The local outlets of the advocate reported Higgins is an ex cop and a staunch gun rights supporter. Hmm. Go figure who has made appearances in promo material for the National Rifle Association. There they go. The NRA. You remember the NRA? They was getting sued a couple of weeks ago because they was treating it as a piggy bank. And all y'all who can donate your money so that you can feel like you in a gun rights organization that cares about you. They spending your money like an idiot. Needless to say, we don't collect your money, but let's go ahead and keep it moving. He resigned from the St. Landry Parish Sheriff's Office in 2016 after backlash. He had to step down because the people were pissed, erupted over his videos to promote a Crime Stoppers program. He has served in Congress since 2016 and has made appearances at events organized by militia groups before, like the Oath Keepers which the Southern Poverty Law Center has designated as an extremist anti-government group. Let me let y'all know something. The Southern Poverty Law Center is also the same entity that classifies groups as terrorist groups. 
I will let you all know that the Southern, the Southern Poverty Law Center has not classified the NFAC as a terrorist group. However, the Southern Poverty Law Center has designated the NFAC as the fourth largest black, excuse me, the fourth largest militia, not black militia in the United States. So if no one has called us a terrorist group and we haven't broken any laws and we haven't destroyed anything and we haven't shot anybody yet and we haven't done any of those things, then we're not a terrorist group. Then why, Mr. Higgins, would you have such a strong reaction to armed black men coming to exercise their constitutional right? I'm sorry, sisters, too. Shout out to the NFAC sisters. Y'all know I have them up front with me. Not because, because they want to be. That's why sisters step up and say, back up. I got you, Jay. But anyway, why would you have a problem with black people exercising their constitutional rights? Because in your mind, we shouldn't have any rights. If you had your way, we'd be back on the plantation. If you had your way, you'd hang me and rape my sisters. See, that's what you really wants to do. That's why you like hiding behind the badge. See, I talked to the people down in your neighborhood, Mr. Higgins, and nobody had anything good to say about you. And the ones who did try to say something, they were unintelligent, so I couldn't make out what they were saying. But the bros and sisters down there was quick to let me know this didn't just start. You see, you can't hide who you are but for so long, but I guarantee to you that if the NFAC decides to make a visit to your state, you will have never seen anything like it before because I'm pretty sure that all of black America would just love to follow us down there. It's been a rough day, y'all. Hard being here. Letting y'all know I never knew that being in this spot was so dangerous. I never thought that I would see these people threatened. I would never thought I would see the president insinuate. I never thought I would see this level of, of, of anxiety and fear and, 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 and all the white people talking about, we got to get together now. Well, you ain't had to get together for the last 60 years. Why you need to get together now? Why? Because we started exercising our constitutional rights. Because we started buying guns, because we started getting ourselves into a position to defend ourselves. And if we have to defend ourselves, who do you think we're going to have to defend ourselves against? The very people that have been doing things to us ever since we set foot on the dirt on this side of the planet. I'm not even speaking about the ones who was already here. I'm not speaking of the civilizations that you burnt down and destroyed and bulldozed over and don't even teach about. I'm not talking about all of the customs and cultures that you raped, robbed, pillaged and destroyed over centuries. I'm not even talking about the things you've done in the last 60 years. I'm specifically talking about those of you all who are the descendants of the people who did all those terrible things and who walk around in this oblivion like you don't owe nobody nothing and you ain't did nothing. So you don't think you need to fix nothing, even though you got two eyes and you can see that the melanin man is at a disadvantage. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there's some of y'all out there who know some people who look like me who are so brainwashed and so asleep in the matrix that they're telling you, don't pay them no man. They just them kind of people. We okay. See, that's our problem to deal with. That's not your problem to deal with. If we did a Marcus Garvey move like I've been talking about now for almost a year and pack up and leave, you will lose your mind. If 50 million people decided to, to, to secede from the United States and leave, y'all will lose your mind. You know why? Because half of y'all hate us, but the other half of y'all love us. You don't love us as people. You love what we bring to the table. You love our music. You love our sports. You love our art. You love our women. You love our athletics. You love all of that, but you don't love the human being that produces those. So therefore, you don't want us to leave, but you damn sure don't want us to stay. That's why slavery is the place that you think we should be so you can reap all those things and not have to pay for it and not have to respect it and not have to give no dignity and not have to ask, ask yourself, have I done something wrong? 
Hell, you even rewrote the Bible to try to justify it. But I say to you here tonight, and I told y'all I'm not going to be before you long because I got to get up out of here. But y'all know that if I got to break blackout, somebody done messed up. No, we are still going to Louisville. Matter of fact, folks in motion right now. Matter of fact, we already setting up stuff right now. Matter of fact, we in fact. And we in there like swimwear. So go on, get ready, because we about to come through. What horse y'all betting on, bro? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and shut that down. As far as this congressman that has threatened uh, myself and the members of my organization, um, I'm going to give the, the Caucasian folks a little bit of time to deal with the man in leadership. But if y'all don't deal with him, as someone told me, Don't play victim to circumstances you created. You wasn't even on my radar. And now you're all that's on my radar. Mm -hmm. The NFAC coming to Louisville. Black Guns Formation this Saturday, September the 5th, Churchill Downs. The same location of the Kentucky Derby. Uh, we hope to see you out there if you want to come witness history. Uh, I will tell you there's going to be a lot of people out there. The numbers are incredible right now. But what I'm going to say to you is, remember, this is all about Breonna Taylor. This is to, to get some resolution in this situation involving the death of Breonna Taylor. Y'all can stop trying to bribe the boyfriend. Y'all better go ahead and pay up the lawsuit to the other boyfriend. I meant the ex-boyfriend and now I'm the current boyfriend. There's lawsuits all over the place and people trying to cut cut deals. People in the 502, you know I ain't got number love for you. I can't wait to see you. Uh, Y'all showed us so much love last time. We want, we want a double dose this time, some of that hospitality. I want to send a big shout out to LeBron. LeBron is my man on the, on the ground. And a major salute to the all-new NFAC chapter in Louisville, which will be hosting us when we come in. I salute all of you to stepping up and stepping to the purpose. And your people will see you in full regalia when we come out uh, on Saturday. So, again, I'm making I'm putting it out here one more time because people out here putting out false information. There's nothing co or vid about me. And I damn sure ain't 19 no more. Uh, there's nobody. And, and I, I got to say this. Somebody should have told Mr. Higgins. Um he needs to go watch the video from uh, Stone Mountain. Sir, we don't threaten. OK, and we, we don't we, you can't threaten us. We don't scare because we don't care. And for all of you all, well, when y'all going to shoot somebody, y'all ain't figured it out yet. We ain't going to shoot nobody until someone shoots at us. Those are the rules of engagement. Because then we're still within the boundaries of the law. I hope to see y'all one way or the other. There will be, <laughs> we'll be live streaming. Uh, there's going to be quite, let me, let me help y'all out. Because I know somebody going to see this and they go, oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all ain't never seen nothing like this before. You haven't. But let me finish this broadcast because I was actually uh, doing this broadcast, not just for my audience here tonight. Surprise on y'all. Um, surprise. I got a surprise for you. We're not just on YouTube tonight. We're not just on um, Instagram tonight. I actually did this broadcast at the request of the television networks so that they could broadcast this to the good folks down there in Louisville that we are still coming. See, it's like a concert. You know how everybody been trying to wait for this show to come and you done went out and bought your tickets and got your hair right and bought you an outfit and got your car clean and then they tell you somebody, they ain't coming, they ain't coming. You got to hear it from our, from the horse's mouth. So I agreed when they called me to go live tonight so that the television networks can monitor this broadcast and broadcast to everybody that needs to see it and replay it back at 11 o'clock tonight that yes, the NFAC is still coming. So I welcome all of you all that are watching by way of national television uh, that are watching this particular broadcast. We are coming through. We know all the networks will be out there, but I told you once, I don't jump in front of cameras. Cameras jump in front of me. There's a whole crew that do that, that chase the cameras. I don't do that no more. I'll do that a long 
long, long time ago. But if I have to talk to you in your living room tonight by way of the television on the wall or talk to you on your job while you are at work in your ear hole, then understand that we got company tonight. So we're going to behave up in here a little bit and there's nothing wrong and don't believe the hype. And we are coming through and we will see y'all in 24, I'm sorry, 48 hours, 48 hours. It's going to be an interesting evening. No matter what happens, remember, it's always has been and it always will be all eyes on Brie. Brianna Taylor, we're doing this one for you. Nothing else and nothing else matters at this point. A hundred days, a hundred days since this young lady met an unfortunate demise at the hands of the police department. Um, and there hasn't been anyone locked up. I think that that is a, a travesty. It's a sin and a shame. And I, we need to get some done about it. And since I know that the district attorney just got the ballistics report back. Yes, I do know that. I also know it's going to take some time for you to, you know, infuse that into your investigation. But last time I checked in the words of Nipsey, last time I checked, um, you said that's all you needed. That's why we still pulling up. I'm going to see y'all uh, live from that location. And hopefully you will be able to tune in and witness history again for all you other places that are waiting for us to show up. Don't worry. The way things are going around here, it's going to be a whole lot of us showing up, all of us somewhere. And what I need y'all to do is make sure that you are not one of those people that's going to sit back and sit on the sides and miss your moment in history. I myself, I'm the Grandmaster J, leader of the NFAC, also a child of the Most High. And I wish you all a good night. And now, y'all, I hope I don't have to come back again. Let's get down to business. If you don't have your shirt yet, if you don't have your shirt yet, you know you better click on the link and go ahead and place your order because these shirts make people have an interesting response when you bust up in some place and they like, oh, my God, it's the NFAC. You can say Black people love it. Everybody else ain't too happy to see you. I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. And like I said before, I still love you. I'm going to die loving you until death do us part. Y'all have a good night. Shalom.